Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement an on-click listener for a recycler view. Uh, this video is a continuation from my last video where I showed you how to set up a basic recycler view. Uh, if you haven't seen that video and you want to check it out, the link will be down in the description below. So the scenario for this is that we're going to have a list of users and when you click on one of the users, it will bring you to their profile page like this. Now guys, I've just reopened the project that we made in the last video. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is create a new layout file. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click new. And we're just gonna call this profile activity. So this is gonna be a really basic profile page. And we're just gonna have one text view. And I'm gonna center this in the middle of the page so I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically. And this is just where we're going to show the user's name. So we'll call it a name text view. Now, so I'm just going to create a new profile activity. So we'll just call this profile activity. And this needs to extend um, app compat activity. So we're gonna use this class to show uh, the user's name. And to get the onCreate method, I've just grabbed it from uh, our main class here. I'm just pasting it in. And now I'll just remove the stuff that we don't need. And I'll just change our layout file to be profile activity. So I'm just gonna instantiate our text view next. So I'm gonna say text view name text is equal to find view by ID and we'll say r.id name text view. Now guys, that's pretty much everything we can do on the profile activity for now. So we're gonna come back to our recycler adapter and come straight down to the bottom and we're just gonna make an interface here. And um, we're gonna call this a uh, recycler view click listener. And this is just gonna have one method and it's gonna be void on click. And it's just gonna have two parameters, uh, one of type view, and we're just gonna call that V. And then it's gonna have an int uh, called position. And that's just gonna define the position in the array that we click on. Now, so if we just come up to the top of our class, we're gonna create an instance of um, the interface that we just made there. So we're gonna say private recycler view click listener. We'll just call this listener. Now, so the next thing to do is just come down here to our my view holder class, and we're just going to implement uh, view dot on click listener. Now, so if we click on the red line anywhere, we should get a little light bulb, and we can just click that to implement the methods that we need. So now we have the on click method. Now, so if we come up here to our constructor, we can just say view dot set on click listener, and we're just going to pass that this. And if we come down here to our on click method, we can say listener dot on click, and we need to pass that a view and the position in the array. So we'll say get adapter position. Now I just realized that we forgot to instantiate our um, click listener, so we're just going to do that up here in the constructor. So it's going to take in a listener. And we can just say this dot listener is equal to listener. Now, so our adapter class is finished, so we can come back to our main activity. And the first thing that we need to do in the main activity is we need to create a declaration for the recycler view click listener. So we're just going to say private recycler view click listener. We'll just call this listener. Now guys, if we scroll down to our set adapter method, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new method called set on click listener. And that's gonna be called as soon as the adapter method is called. So if we click the little bulb, we should create the new method. And in here, what we want to do is we want to say listener is equal to, and this should auto generate your code. So we're gonna say new recycler adapter and if you just hit enter, it'll auto generate this on click listener for you. So inside the on click, we want to make an intent which we can use to go to our profile activity. 
Now, so that's going to be new intent, and we're going to say get application context, and we're going to say profile activity dot class. Now, so we want to put the username of that user uh, as an extra into this intent. So we're going to say intent dot put extra, and we're going to just put the key here, which is the username. And now we want to pass the username of the user who was selected. So we want to say user list dot get, and we can use the position here. So we can say get position. Uh, dot get username and now we can simply just say start activity and pass the intent so for example if you click on a person named John it'll pass his name with the intent as an extra to the next activity and we can get his name in the next activity so if we scroll back up here we can pass our listener into the constructor for our adapter so we can just say listener here and now let's just go back to our manifest and declare our profile activity. So if we hit manifest, and all you have to do is say activity and just click profile activity. Now, so let's just go back to our profile activity. And oh, this should say profile activity, not activity profile. Now we're just going to create a string for the username. So we'll say string username, and we'll just equal that to username not set at first. So we'll just say username not set. Now we also need to get a bundle to get the extras that we pass through the intent. So we'll just say bundle extras, and that's equal to get intent dot get extras. And we just need to check if that's not equal to null. So let's say if extras is not equal to null. And if that's true, we can say that the username is equal to extras.getString. And you just need to put the key name in here so we can just say uh, username. So that should get the username uh, through the intent. So the last thing to do is just set the text view. So we can just say name text dot set text, and we're just going to pass that username. Now the last thing to do is just build the app. So I'll do that, and I'm just going to show you a quick overview of what it should look like. Now guys, here's just a quick example of what it should look like. So if you click a user, it brings you to their profile page, and you can go back and you can select another user. So that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, I hope that you learned something from it. And if you have any questions or queries or anything like that, just put it down in the comments. Um, thanks for watching.